Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee with Me and Jesus. Today, we're going to be going into the book of Hosea. And Hosea is a very little book, and it's found right after the book of Daniel. And we're going to go into Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Now that's a very, very powerful, powerful scripture, because God is now telling us that because his people have rejected knowledge that he's going to destroy them and he's not only going to destroy them but he's going to destroy their children and so we need to heed what thus saith the lord and get into the word of god because that is the only place that the knowledge is found he left his written word for us and we have to get in there and see what thus saith the Lord. Because if we don't, we're going to get destroyed and our children will get destroyed. And I'll tell you how we're going to get destroyed because we're not going to know how to fight the battle. And the battle that we, are, we fight against in Ephesians speaks that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against rulers and principalities of the air. Everybody has a battle, and we are all going to have battles until the day we die because it, the enemy is still alive. He has not been taken out of this world. He is still here. He still has his purpose, his assignment to kill, steal, and destroy. You are still um, available as long as you're alive. Your soul is still fair game to him. But I want you to go to Matthew 4 and see what happens and how Jesus Christ himself fights uh, the devil. Now, after Jesus had gotten baptized by John, he was transported into uh, spirit into the desert. There he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And the Satan came, the enemy came, and visited him on three occasions. The first time, he visited him. He told Jesus, turn those stones into to food. Why don't you, you know, you are, you are the son of God. Turn those stones into food. And Jesus replied, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of his mouth. And then at another time, he comes to Jesus and he takes him to a high pinnacle and he tells him, why don't you jump off there? After all, you are the son of God. He'll send angels to catch you. And Jesus replies, it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And then the third time, he takes Jesus to this very high place, high mountain, and he shows him all the kingdoms. And he tells Jesus, you know, if you'll bow down and worship me, I'll give you all this. You can have all this. And Jesus replied, It is written, Thou shalt bow before no other God and have no other God. So the reason I'm telling you that story is Jesus, he battled Satan with, It is written. It is written. It is written. Now, on never, on, not on one of those occasions, does it go into any explanation of this big battle that, take, that took place? It was just a sound. It is written. It is written. And the devil had to flee. So that's why it's so valuable, people, that we know what is written. Because we are going to continue on our battle in life, whether it be through sickness, through finances, through sadness, mental disorders, whatever, there's all kinds of things that we are going to go through in this world, but we have to know what it is written. It is written because what happens, what, what does Hosea say? If we don't know what is written, we are lacking on knowledge.
and we've rejected his knowledge because we're too lazy to go in there and see what is written and we are going to be destroyed. The devil's going to take us out. He's going to take us out. One way or another, he's going to take you out. And because you haven't passed this knowledge and this wisdom and this faith of God to your children, God's going to reject them too. Now, I don't know how far that goes and all the particulars about it, but that is enough for me to get into the Word of God. Because see, once you hear something, then you can't claim, well, I didn't know. I didn't know. Well, today, guess what? Today is your lucky day because you know, you've heard. I've read it to you and you've heard. Now, the thing about the Word of God is that it says in Matthew that some seed falls on ground, that some people are going to hear this and they're going to say, oh, whatever, go in one ear, out the other. She's just talking. She doesn't know. But it's the word of God that's being spoken, not my words. And then another person is going to hear and they're going to, they're going to be, it's going to do something to them. They're going to be, oh, I'm going to get in the word and I want to, I want salvation for myself and my family. I don't want to be destroyed. I want to see what this word says about me, about God, about everything. What is in this word? And they're going to be happy for a while, but pretty soon the cares of this world, like maybe their friends they used to hang out with, maybe their husband, maybe their children, maybe things are going to get too intense for them that they're going to give up. And the seed fell on, on in rocky soil where too much stuff came in and they just didn't want to focus on the word. They couldn't focus on the word because they didn't take the time to get in there and see what is written. Now there are going to be these people that this is going to hit them and it's going to fall on good ground. And they're going to just go, they're going to take it, it's going to fall on good ground, and they're going to go in there and they're going to say, what else does this word say? Oh, it says this. What else? Oh, it says this. And there it's just going to grow. That little tiny seed is going to grow, it, grow, come out, grow, 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 and they're going to have all this fruit around them. They're going to be so full of fruit. The fruit of love, the fruit of joy, the fruit of peace, the fruit of long-suffering, all kinds of fruit. Some 30, some 60, and some 100, according to what is written in the Word of God. But my message to you today is if you don't want to be destroyed today and taken out by defeat of the enemy, then you better get in the Word and see what is written. And when the enemy does come, and he will come, he's going to come. He comes at all of us. Every single one of us, he comes at us every day because we're still alive. And until we die, we're going to contend with the adversary. That doesn't mean he's a winner. But every day when that darkness comes, I uh, 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 an illustration was given to me one time by um, a pastor. He said, what happens is when there's darkness, the way the enemy is, because he's darkness. He is darkness. And when you go, and God is called the father of lights in John, and God is light. So if it's a really dark, dark room, pitch black, you go over and you flip the switch, what happens? Everything is exposed. Everything's come to light. So when you put the, the, the light, the power of God, his word, Satan realizes, oh, I got to get out of here. They're pulling it. It is written on me. I'm out of here. I can't stand in truth. There's no way I can stand in truth. The enemy knows he can't stand in truth. But you know what? You have to read it. And you have to believe it. And you have to pray that the Holy Spirit will impart true knowledge, true understanding, and true wisdom to you so that you can have the measure of faith to speak out what thus saith the Lord. You have to have that. You can't go on somebody else's faith. You have to get in there and fight your own battle. This is a battle that only you can fight. 
because the Word of God says, work out your own salvation. So people, that is my message to you today. Get in there and see what it is written. Then you can speak, it is written, thus saith the Lord, and the enemy has to flee. The enemy has to flee. Because God is not a man that he should lie. And what God says, it is. God is unchangeable. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Too many testimonies in this word of how God showed up. Showed up and he proved and validated that he has his position on his throne. And whatsoever you ask in the name of Jesus and speak on what is written, it shall be. Because this is our, this is our, uh, our sword. This is our source. This is our knowledge. This is our defense. This is what we fight. This is a good fight of faith. This is our whole fight of faith, what is written. So be blessed, people. And uh, enjoy this day. And I pray that uh, I have imparted knowledge to you because your ear heard and the seed was thrown out there. So cultivate it, my friends. Cultivate it and be aware that you have been given the seed for this day. Have a blessed day and God be with you all. In Jesus' name, amen.